Over the next few weeks, Microsoft will begin enabling a stronger form of multi-factor authentication, or MFA, for all of its clients. Users who authenticate into MVCC systems, such as Brightspace and Teams, using the SMS text code option or the Win OTP Manager will soon be prompted to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app as their primary form of MFA. Microsoft is making this change as the Authenticator app provides a stronger, more secure form of MFA for its users. If you currently have the SMS text code or use the Win OTP Manager on your laptop as your primary form of MFA, you'll still be able to use these as secondary options, but will be required by Microsoft to move to the Authenticator app as your new primary form. If you already have the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, there will be no impact to you. NBCC is strongly encouraging all faculty, staff, and students who are currently using the SMS text code option as their primary form of MFA or the Win OTP Manager to go in and change your primary form to the Authenticator app before being prompted by Microsoft to make the change. So to set the Microsoft Authenticator app as your primary form of MFA, you're just going to go to office.com and in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you're just going to make sure that you're signed in with your NBCC account. And then you'll just select your name. And from the drop down here, we're going to select the second option, which is view account. And then once your account info opens up here, you're just going to choose the security info option and you're just going to press update info. Now, once the security info page opens up here, you'll see your default sign in method right here, your current one. So if you have the Win OTP manager or the text option, you'll see that there. And so what we want to do is we want to add a sign in method. So we'll just choose the add sign in method option here. And then from the drop down, we're going to select the authenticator app. And then we're just going to press the add button on the start by getting the app page here, we're going to choose download now. And so once you press download now, it's going to bring you here to the download the Microsoft Authenticator page here. Now you'll need your phone for this step. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your phone, we're going to scroll down here. And if you have an Android device, you can just scan the code here. But for this demonstration, we're going to go through the steps for the iOS device, but for all the Apple phones here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your camera on your cell phone and you're gonna scan this code right here, and then you're gonna choose to open it up in the App Store. And so once you choose the View and App Store option on your phone, um, it's gonna bring up the Authenticator app here from the App Store, and you're just gonna select the little download icon here, the little cloud with the downward arrow to install it. And then once it's been installed on your phone, you're just gonna simply press the open button and you'll receive a window here about Microsoft respecting your privacy. And then you're just gonna press the accept button, the blue accept button. And then a second page will open up here that says help us improve the Microsoft Authenticator. And again, you'll just press the continue button right here. And then when the next window opens up here, the peace of mind for your digital life, uh, secure your account with multi-factor authentication, you're gonna choose to scan a QR code. So once you choose scan a QR code, you'll just get this notification on your phone that the authenticator would like to access your camera. Then you're just gonna press the okay button. And then after you do that, you'll go back to your laptop computer and on your laptop computer here, you're going to see the Microsoft Authenticator start by getting the app page here that we were on before, and you'll just press the next button. Uh, you'll get the set up your account here, and we'll just press the next button here. And then again, we're going to take our cell phones and we're going to scan the QR code that's on the screen right here. And so you're going to hold your phone up to the code that you're seeing here on your laptop. So you hold your phone up just as you're seeing here on the screen. And once your phone goes over 
the code right here, you're going to get a window pop up that said the authenticator would like to send you notifications and you're just going to press the allow button. Then on your laptop screen, you're going to be presented with a unique two digit code in the let's try it out box. So you'll take those two digits and you go back to your phone. And so on your phone, you'll see this, are you trying to sign in? And then you're just going to put in the number here that you're seeing on your laptop screen and then you're gonna select the yes button right here. So after you put in the number, you're going to see a notification approved message. And so you're just gonna press the next button. And the very last step is to change your default from the either the Win OTP manager or the text option to the last one that you're seeing here, the Microsoft Authenticator. And so how you would do that is in the default sign-in method here, you're just gonna press the change button right here, the little change text that's in blue. So if I select that, I can go down here and the option I want to choose is the app-based authentication notification. So once I have that selected, I just press the confirm button and then it'll change the default method here to the authenticator app here. This concludes the tutorial on updating your primary MFA to the Microsoft Authenticator app at the New Brunswick Community College.